Hi, folks. Welcome back. And um, I wanted to solve the mystery of, gee, what happened to that live stream? Uh, everything went wonky when we tried to extrude. And it's a lesson that I learned a long, long time ago that I have to keep learning every time I uh, use Fusion. And it's been a little while since I've done a design. But after a uh, walk around the block, getting some laundry in the dryer, I thought I'd come back and solve the mystery for you guys. What it has to do with is um, lines and splines, lines and splines. We introduced in the live stream video this idea of a spline, a fit point spline, where you can grab handles and stuff like that. And we've still got a little bit of homework to do on this back curve back here, but um, where the place where the neck joins here um, at the the heel, they call it, of the of the neck, uh, in in this pocket um, wasn't working. And I believe the, the reason that it wasn't working is on the straight parts of it, I drew a line. And it should have been a spline. Splines are better at defining these areas than our lines for reasons that I hope someone will enlighten me in the comments because I don't know what they are. But here's what I did to solve the problem. So um, I'm just going to walk through this step by step. Uh, we were missing this edge along here, right? We had made the pocket part, but we didn't extend it out to uh, this part. And um, I just edited the sketch and went through it. I'll walk you through what I did. I just drew a few more splines. These are splines, not lines, in here. And to make these curved corners down here, just like that. And then, instead of drawing straight lines connecting these two points in a straight line, I drew... Uh, after adjusting some of these curves here, I drew um, straight splines connecting them. So this line that you see here is actually not a line. It's a, it's a straight spline. So I drew another one. I don't know if you can see that one. I drew another one down here, right? Instead of a straight line, drew a spline connecting that. And now... You can see it's uh, that color uh, blue, right? And so that means everything's enclosed. And now all we have to do is redraw this area in here around the um, fretboard that we had done early. And again, you'll see what I've done here is I've created straight splines instead of straight lines doing that. So. Um, once we're able to do that, uh, I think that the end result that you'll see is we can select both of these things and do an extrude, right? And all those things stay together. So we wanted to go to negative uh, 1.5 inches. And then uh, we wanted, oops, I hope that was negative. Wasn't that negative? Then we wanted to make a neck pocket that is the correct dimensions. And um, it is, I believe, 5 eighths of an inch, which is 0.625. 5 eighths is 0.65. Yeah, I had to check on the calculator. So if we go down, extrude this negative 1.5 inches, and then we reveal our sketch again that this was based on, we can do another extrude that'll default to the cut, minus 0.625, and there we've got our neck pocket. Um, we'll hide that sketch one more time just so you can see. This is what we were going for, and we got a little sidetrack. Why? Because in that sketch, I connected stuff with straight lines instead of splines. That's the only way that I could get it to work is uh, by going back over, starting over again, and not using lines. Anyway, I hope that if it didn't solve the mystery, at least it fixed the problem, and now we'll be ready to... Uh, do this again the next time we get together on a YouTube Live. So, thanks. Bye.